Okay, so I'm just gonna do a guided release. We do this in release technique to get people to a higher state. So if you can start with, you know, just staying with the call and stop doing other things you're doing because it's a focus guided meditation. So start by closing your eyes and going inward, shutting out whatever's on the outside world. And begin by taking a slow, deep breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And out. Breathe in life energy. Breathe out any stress. Breathe in life energy and breathe out any tension. And just check, check inside, check in your body, do a check in and just see where you're holding any tension in your body. Most people hold it in their stomach, chest and throat. For example, I hold mine in my chest and throat most often. It could be somewhere else, could be in your hips, could be in your just a headache tension in your head. Just notice, start to discriminate and see where you're holding tension in. We go through life just bulldogs. We don't look to see what we're experiencing. So check in, see what that tension is, where it is, and just give it a measurement. Zero would be no tension, 10 would be high tension, high dis-ease, or maybe it's a pain in your body. So focus on that tension and just allow it to be there. Just let it be. Don't try to change it, just let it be. And then imagine a window, an imaginary window in front of that area, in front of that tension. And allow that window to open up and let all that tension go out. Let it flow out of you. And more. And more. And even more. And just notice what you're experiencing. What you experience, not what you think. You're lighter, you're the same, or you're heavier. And maybe it moved to a different area. Just notice what your experience is. There's no right answer. See where the tension moved to, or is it the same, or if it's lighter, go into that area. Feel that. And then imagine a window, or some people prefer a teapot, boiling. Open the window, open the teapot, and let it all evaporate and dissolve. And more, and even more. And just notice what you're experiencing. Then one more time, see where the tension is now, or dis-ease, or pain, discomfort. Go into that area. Open the window in front of that area. Let all that tension go. And more, and even more. Just notice how you feel. Check in. If it was an eight, where is it now? Just notice where the numbers are. It's okay wherever you are. Most often, people feel lighter, but if you don't, that's okay to see where you check in. When you practice this, you can go from, many people can go from a seven, eight, nine down to a zero. As you practice it, you get better and better at it. It's a practice. So let's move into working with the mind a little bit. Just start to observe your mind. Start to observe the thoughts. You listen to them like they're real, like they're true. So just start to see these thoughts as automatic, repetitive, involuntary thoughts like they are. Automatic, repetitive, involuntary. And let them come and let them go. 
let them come and let them go. And see one thing you're trying to figure out. That's one thing you wake up, it's on your mind. Maybe it's a business, maybe it's money. Maybe it's the world politics. Could be an illness, a relationship, anything. Something you're trying to figure out that you keep thinking about it a lot. So just now, let your mind think about that issue. Let it think about it. Can you see you don't have an answer? If you keep thinking about it, then there's no answer. Now, if it was something simple, what color is your hair? I would say brown. How tall am I? Five, six. So the mind doesn't have an answer, so it goes round and round. It's a vicious circle. So let's work on that. Just follow the questions. And it's good to say yes and decide when I ask a question. You don't need to, but that works the best. Just go with the flow and see what happens. So just for now, can you let go of trying to figure anything out? Yes. Can you let go of trying to figure anything out? Can you let go of looking for an answer? And say yes or no. I suggest yes. Just go with it. Can you let go of wanting to know what to do about it? Just for now. Can you let go of doing anything at all right now? And can you let go of thinking? Can you just allow yourself just to be, and be, and be. And notice what your experience now. Is your mind quieter? Perhaps in a better position? come up with some solution, but not to think about it. This is intuition, this is where intuition lies. This is a higher level. And can you see when you were trying to figure things out with an issue, you start to disapprove of yourself. Ah, I should have an answer to that. I can't believe I still have this physical problem. I can't believe that my business is doing better. What's wrong with me? I should be able to communicate better. There's disapproval. It's a mind program called disapproval. So right now, start to become aware of that disapproval program. It runs automatically. It's not really you. It's just a mind game. It's a virus we have as human beings. So just for now, can you let go of disapproving of yourself? Can you let go of disapproving even more? And even more? and even more. And let go of disapproving even more. And let go of disapproving even more. And can you shift it to simple decision? Can you give yourself approval? How do I do that? By just doing it, deciding. How do you give other people love and approval? By deciding. Same way you give others love and approval, can you give yourself approval? And give yourself more approval and more approval and even more approval. And just notice what you're experiencing. You're lighter, or you're heavier, or the same. Go a little deeper. Who's that person that you just still disapprove of or that institution or that situation or what happened to you or maybe it's a physical pain an illness bring up that disapproval there it's hard sometimes the mind doesn't want to go of, of not liking something but how does that not liking help it go away you it does not not liking something is resisting it so it doesn't work it doesn't help you so now can you let go of disapproving of that can you let go of disapproving even more? Can you let go of disapproving even more? And can you shift it? Can you give yourself approval? And more approval? And more approval? And even more approval? And can you give that person, just for no reason, because it works, love and approval? Give that person more approval. 
I'll give that body part more approval and more approval and even more approval and let it all go. And what are you experiencing now? Feel lighter, just notice what you experience. It's just the beginning of learning how to release. And can you follow me or does your mind wonder? See if you can just stay with where I'm leading you. Okay, let's go a little into a different area. Most of us have do, deal a lot with fear and resistance. And we don't like fear. We don't like certain feelings like grief or apathy or fear or anger or pride. We don't like people judging us. We don't maybe like ourselves, all our judgments of others. So pick something you don't like. Let's use fear. Use fear. Think of something you're afraid of. It might happen to you. It might happen to my family. It might run out of money. What's going to happen to the political world? It's a mess. Go into the feeling of fear. And can you say yes to the fear? And can you say yes to some more? So we're just shifting it from I'm explaining it's shifting it from not liking the fear. I don't like it. Because not liking it is like pushing it down. Does it help it get rid of it? No, it doesn't. Let's just try my way. Just go with me and say to yourself, can you say yes to the fear and say yes to yourself? And can you say yes to the fear some more? And yes to the fear some more? And yes to the fear even more. Then open that window in front of that area. Let all that fear evaporate and dissolve. And more, and even more. Notice what you're experiencing. If there's still fear there, let's go deeper. So go into that feeling of fear and check where it is. It's good to get a measure, zero to 10. 10 being the highest, zero being none. Maybe it's a three or a five. I don't care wherever it is, it doesn't matter. Go into that feeling and decide. I decide to let go of the fear. It's a decision. You're in charge, not your mind, not your feelings. We say in releasing every feeling wants to leave. We just have to allow it. So go into that vibration, that energy of fear. Fear. Just feel it as energy. And can you love that energy of fear? Can you give it love? Same way you'd love a child. If they were afraid, you'd give them love. Hopefully you would. So can you love the fear? Love the energy in your body and love it some more, and love it some more, and love it even more. And can you love it if it stays? And can you love it if it leaves? Yes. And can you choose to let it go? Yes. And what are you experiencing now? Okay. And then a little bit on resistance. Resistance is, I don't want to do it. I don't feel like it. I'm not going to do what you tell me. I'm not going to do whatever. I'm not going to eat healthy. I'm not going to work out. I'm not going to try a new business. I don't want to do resisting doing things, resisting communicating, resisting getting out of bed early. We resist many, many things. We say, I'm really, if you had no resistance, you could do anything, really. Let's work on that. Think of something that you resist. It could be anything. Getting up early. Healthier diet. Taking a chance. Starting a business. Starting a different job. Maybe retiring. Starting a relationship. Any relationship. What are you resisting? Being yourself. Being authentic. Saying what you mean. So bring up that resistance to communicate to be healthy, whatever it is. Walk on that energy. It's like a physical heaviness. Feel that resistance. I don't want to. Just see how that feels. And can you say yes to that resistance? And yes, some more. And yes, some more. And yes, even more. And open the window, let all that resistance go. And more. And even more. 
and dive deeper. See what's still there. It's not gone. Can you give that resistance love? Can you just love it? See what happens. Like loving someone else is resisting. Love brings people higher. So can you love your resistance? And love it some more. And love it some more. And love it even more. And can you open the window and let all that energy evaporate and dissolve? And more. And even more. Notice what you're experiencing. For a little bit of taste of the third way, just a little bit so you can get a taste of it. Worked on approval. Letting go of disapproval. So can you just bring up that feeling of wanting others' approval, that you want it? It's a wanting feeling. It's a grabbing feeling. I want that approval. It's okay to have it, approval, but wanting it is an energy drain. It doesn't work so well. But feel somebody you want approval from. You decide to let go of wanting approval. Just let go of it. Decide. Can you let go of wanting approval so that you can have approval? Just follow me and decide yes or no. Like, can you let go of wanting approval so you have approval? Yes. And do you feel like you want it? Would you rather want approval or have approval? You'd probably just rather have it. So do you feel like you have it? It's internal. Do you feel like you have approval? It's all inside you. It's all you need. And expand the feeling of having. And more. And even more. And then control. What do you want to control in your life? Who do you want to control? Maybe lots of things. Think of something you want to control. Pick up that wanting to control things feeling. It's a pushing, sort of angry feeling. I want to control this. Decide. Can you let go to see what happens if you let go of wanting control? It's okay to have it. To want it is wanting, pushing. How do you feel when people try to control you? So can you let go of wanting control? So you have control. Let go of wanting control. So you have control. What feels better to you? Wanting control or having control? Having control feels better. So do you have control? It's an experience, yes. And expand that feeling of having. More and even more. What are you experiencing now? And finally, wanting to feel safe and secure. Where do you feel insecure? Your money, your health, your relationships, somewhere, governments. Feel that insecure feeling. Just feel it. Life's up to feel it. Wanting safety from the world, from your pocketbook. Can you let go to see what happens? Just decide. Can you let go of wanting safety so you can have it? Let go of wanting safety so that you have it. And do you feel like you have safety? Do you feel like it or do you still want it? I have it. You can expand the feeling of having more. And even more. And what do you experience now? Quiet. Can you let go of that feeling and see if it gets even better? Let go of that feeling and see if it gets even better. And can you rest in silence? And more. And even more. So you can open your eyes now. Thank you all for following the meditation. I wish you a great day and invite you all to, if you want to look into the release technique. Thank you all.